tradition is tradition or something like that because at the end of the day if you got something good that works and you want to bring it back you continue to bring it back and that's exactly what we're doing with our perfect las vegas raiders mock draft of 2023 last year we just, we started it and we it ended up pretty good so we're gonna go ahead it's kind of our last mock draft you know we've taken a look at getting help along the offensive line and we've taken a look at basically going all defense and still we just can't seem to make everybody happy. So we're going to try to do it uh, in our latest mock draft for the Raiders, uh, you know, because I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to try to go mainly defense. The only player I really want along the offensive side of the football is uh, Chandler Zavala. So I'm going to go that and I'm going to go that route. So I know you, I'm already going to get flack for it. Oh, he's selecting an alignment. Chill out. Okay. You're going to sit here and tell me that you want Alex Barr starting for your right ta- or right guard. Excuse me. Come on. You're better than that. So going to go uh, do our seven round mock draft here. This is our perfect Raiders mock draft. And uh, we're going to go for from it for there so gonna go ahead and enter the draft now caveat here i i don't know that the raiders are going to trade up i i really feel like you know if we want to go quarterback fine if you if you want to go up and get your dude that's fine but i'm, I'm gonna go without trading for a quarterback yes i think that's the perfect uh mock draft scenario here because uh, if they're going to start jimmy g let's at least build a team around him and then next year if we want to go ahead and trade up uh and get our dude because it's like there's also like this quarterback class isn't that uh, convincing either. Like I know it's good, but it's not. There's no Peyton Manning's in this draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So yes, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud starts it out. Will Levis. Uh, so again, I really don't think Anthony Richardson is. He could potentially be there, but do you go that route? Like, do you want to go Devin Witherspoon? Who falls to you? Devin Witherspoon is just there. Oh, this is tough because Anthony Richardson and Devin Witherspoon are sitting there. And I know we don't want to go quarterback, but he is the highest upside quarterback in this entire draft. Now, you've got a lot of teams that want to trade up, Eagles being one of them. Do we trade down and just see if we can maybe get back into the third? Because I really – so that's a late two, two, three, ooh, two, three, future four. If I get a two, three, future four just to trade down three spots, (sighs) offer trade. Offer trade. Two, three, future four, resume draft. Who did they come up for? Seven. Devin Witherspoon. That's fine because, you know, we are back here. We also missed out on Anthony Richardson. That's fine. But Christian Gonzalez is back at 10 plus. We have got uh, some more draft capital. You know what? Do we want to get a little nuts? Do we want to go ahead and trade back up, uh, get back at 11 2 and Kalijah Cansey? Do we do it? Because you need D tackle help. Like, Jalen Carter's most likely not going to be there. I'm doing it. I don't care what anybody says. We're trading, baby. Uh, so at 11, who's at 11? Titans, what's up? You guys need some draft capital because you might as well might not trade up for a quarterback. So we'll give you uh, Philadelphia's two, a future three, and a four from them. No? Yeah, it's going to cost a little bit. So, uh, no, we're not giving you 10. Sorry. Uh, we'll give you two, future three. Future three. Two, three, three. No, fine. Two, future two. And Philadelphia. No. Two, two, three. What do you say? Two, two, three. Come on. That's a good trade offer. Come on. Fine. Do we also move Josh Jacobs? Is that a possibility here? Because, I mean, they might move Derrick Henry. I don't know. So, two, two. I'm not giving up any of my my capital here. Two, 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 two. Okay. All right. They're just playing hardball. So I'll give you a uh, future one to this year, a late two for the Eagles. You guys are killing me. There's no way. Okay. You know what? Because they're going to be back at 41, I'll be fair. And I'm going to just going to say that, uh, we will go ahead and do we just stick and pick though? Because I know Anthony Richardson went fine, whatever. Uh, but we still got some good picks. You know what? I think sometimes you can overthink things. I'm going to go with BPA here. I mean, Christian Gonzalez is there. There's some good, really good defensive tackles. I'm sorry. Sometimes you think too much. We're going Christian Gonzalez. Fine. Is what it is. Not going to trade. Not going to do it. So awesome. So, uh, getting into the second round here, Steve Avila is there. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Um, because yes, I do want. Ooh. Darnell Washington is also there. He's really risen up a lot of draft boards lately. Who's the best? Team? Brian Bruzzi's there? Never mind. Never mind. Brian Bruzzi. I don't care. He's that dude. He was literally a top 10 pick like a month ago. So, yeah, Brian Bruzzi at D tackle. We're back in the second round at 62. Uh, could Who could we get at linebacker, too? Because that's my. Ooh. 
So Trenton Simpson is there. Julius Brents. Chandler Zavala. I want Chandler Zavala, though. I really do. I think this gives us a spot to uh, potentially go with right guard. So uh, Chandler Zavala there. Also, where is Hendon Hooker going? Like, I know I've got some people that are kind of wondering, worrying about it. Uh, Brian Bruzzi, nah. I want to go linebacker, too. And Trenton Simpson is going to be that dude. I'm calling it. He's going to be that dude for the Raiders. Um, Julius Brents, he's just so tall and... He's just a stud. Julius Brents, he's just a condor out there, man. He makes a lot of sense, uh, and I honestly think – I know Dion Henley's right there, but he's a little bit of an older draft prospect. My goal is to get uh, if, get Trenton Simpson here, but Julius Brents is that dude coming up out of Kansas. Uh, let's see here. Who's there? Oh, and then, yes, you got Trenton Simpson that falls to you at 70, but also, like, Chandler Zavala is there. This is a deep linebacker core, too. This is also a deep linebacker class that I'm not really worried about. It. We need a starter at right guard. I know that's going to be the only offensive line pick. I can already see what I'm going to get in the comment section down below. I don't care. Uh, so then, ooh, Siaki Abu Ika. Ugh, this is nasty. Dorian Williams is there. 97? That's only three spots. What can we get? Nah. Sometimes you get to think about a little too much. Dorian Williams, I've been doing it all year long. Uh, we didn't. We already take... Trenton Simpson, I went to the Rams. Fine. Whatever. Dorian Williams at linebacker. Boom. Back in six spots. Ooh, Garrett Williams. Dude, this draft has ended up kind of mean right now. Mean. So I want to get D end help too. So, ooh, KJ Henry? So KJ Henry's there. Garrett Williams is coming off that torn ACL. Yeah, I'm going KJ Henry. Get a little bit of help there for you. Guy you can develop and do a lot of different things with. Zach Pickens is very interesting. Jervin Dexter, that run defender. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, Jaden Reed is there. Brenton Strange. Love it. Marty Mapu is a lot of fun, too. Hate to break it to you. JL Skinner at safety. Um, Dwayne McBridge. Like, I know you've got Zeus, but Dwayne McBridge was a leading rusher, I think, last year for college. I think all of college football, if I'm not mistaken. Jervin Dexter. Yaya Diaby, not Byron Young. I'm going to go Brent Stranger. Brent Stranger, tight end. Uh, then you're back at 141, 144. Like, literally, uh, that's really the only piece here that I really see on offense, like uh, tight end and guard. Carter Warren's there. Juice Scruggs. Christopher Smith is a lot of fun. Ooh, do we go Do we go big wide receiver with Xavier Hamilton or Hutchinson? Ex Hamilton. Xavier Hutchinson. I think it makes a lot of sense. I do. Like, I, we've got, you know, a, a guy that's in the later in the fifth round. Xavier Hutchinson, he's he's a big dude. I really like it. Uh, so then you want to go Jacorian Bennett. Henry Toyo Toyo at linebacker. We already got our dudes at linebacker. Um, do we double down on linebacker, though? Because it's really, like, it, it low-key is a need for the Raiders here. Yeah, I'm going to a Sewell. I don't care. It's a, it's a need. Let's be real here. It's a need. I don't care who you brought in. Uh, Robert Spillane doesn't matter to me. No, you need help. So Payne Durham. Clayton Toon is also there. And, yeah, I'm going Clayton Toon. Because we have seen the Patriots take quarterbacks in the middle to late rounds throughout, like, all of Tom Brady's career. So I'm predicting that's most likely. Ooh, Shamari Connor at safety. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is actually oh Jake Witt, small school guy. I love it. They don't even have any information for him. That's kind of disrespectful. Uh, Charlie Thomas, Taiwan Mullen, not really that much of a reach. Kenny McIntosh, he's really a bigger back. So Josh Jacobs is, you know, Travis Dye, a little bit of a smaller back if I remember correctly. Travis Dye, 5'10", 200. A little bit of an older prospect, but that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Dylan Horton is my man crush, though. Shaw Torrance goes to the Vikings. Ricky Stromberg. Yeah, in this particular spot, I... Dylan Horton. Do I go Travis Dye here? Travis Dye in the sixth round, that's a good That's a good pickup. That's a good pickup. Kenny McIntosh, Dylan Horton. I'm going to go the edge player, Dylan Horton. I'm doubling down on edge. Chandler Jones isn't going to be there forever. Uh, and so then finally, to finish out the whole draft here... 
Dude, Trevor Reed and Asim Richards, he had a good senior bowl. I know. People are going to freak out. Oh, he took another alignment. Stop it. You're in the seventh round. You're just taking stabs at guys. You do need a guy behind Jermaine Illuminar that you are, you are confident about. So, uh, literally, all the other picks, you guys better be happy with this. This was, to me, I believe this is the perfect uh, Raiders mock draft. Yeah, they gave us an A-. minus. So, you start out by trading down from 7 to 10. You get a little bit of extra draft capital. Uh, draft capital excuse me. So, a 2-3 future 4. You still get Christian Gonzalez and Brian Bruzzi and Julius Brents. Like, three players right at the top uh, of the uh, you know first and second rounds. They're like literally dudes are difference, uh, difference makers for you. You double and triple down on corner because yes, I know that you brought in some good dudes for the secondary, but are you going to sit here and tell me that Christian Gonzalez and Julius Brents on the outsides for you? That's not going to be a little tantalizing? Like then you can literally put Nate Hobbs back in at nickel. He can do what he's best at. You got your two starting corners uh, for the foreseeable future. You also got Brian Bruzzi there. Um, you still get Dorian Williams. I don't know what is wrong with PFF, but Dorian Dorian Williams is that dude. The dude flies around, makes tackles. He's going to be great in coverage. Yes. Uh, also, you get your starter at guard and Chandler Zavala there. Uh, KJ Henry is more uh, edge help. Brenton Strange, uh, you also need a tight end you can develop. Uh, Xavier Hutchinson, that big, that big wide receiver that you definitely need, uh, you know, to be able to help you out there in that regard. Uh, Noah Sewell. You know, in the fifth round, Clayton Toon, a future quarterback prospect. Uh, yes, you really, for what you're bringing in this draft class, it really is definitely worth it. Uh, and then, uh, let's see here, Shamari Connor, uh, also like a deep safety guy, but he reminds me a lot of uh, the Viking safety. I'm trying to, I can see his face. Uh, is it... I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, he's got that build that makes you think that he could be something more in the NFL. So he's going to be a guy that he doesn't need to produce right away, but as a sixth round pick, that's tremendous value. Travis Dye, I know running back is not a huge need, but Josh Jacobs, there's been rumblings about trading for him. And I know you got Zeus last year, so it is what it is. But I mean, Travis Dye, he's a little bit of a shiftier running back. I think he could potentially do something here. Maybe be a one on one replacement for Brandon Bolden. Uh, Dylan Horton, the edge player coming up out of TCU, there is a lot to work with here in the seventh round. And this is kind of where you start to get those guys that could be UDFAs or guys that you know might not necessarily make the roster, but they're still going to be a lot of fun. And then Asim Richards here, yes, I know we're going to get a little bit of fleck for selecting another offensive lineman, but listen, Jermaine Illuminar is that dude for at least this year, one more year, uh, but you want a guy behind him that, you know, you want to see what they can do in camp, bring in another dude to see what happens. So, okay, fine, we dressed majorly, we literally drafted, uh, you know, mainly defense here, and I really like, you know, you got Brian Bruzzi, who uh, I think honestly could be the sleeper pick of this class, like seriously. This is a fantastic draft. I do believe this is the perfect Las Vegas Raiders mock draft of 2023, uh, really building up that defense and building up the trenches. Uh, but that is it. Let us know what you guys think about our latest Raiders and last mock draft of 2023. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truly awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about our perfect mock draft for the Las Vegas Raiders in 2023.